Hello and hope everybody's doing well. This is Rick in SDR. We had a few requests to do a quick video on how to use Ham Radio Deluxe with Thetis and Hermes Light or Hermes Light 2. Um, actually, this will work with Thetis and whatever radio you want to use and Ham Radio Deluxe. So, one thing you will need that I am not going to show you in this video is you will need a virtual COM port program, uh, be it Commo COM or VSP virtual serial port manager, etc. But you will need to create a pair of virtual COM ports. So with that said, let's get over to the main screen. And in the main screen, we're going to go to setup and you want to open up your serial network MIDI cat tab in here you will see how are a section for setting up com ports for cat control i currently have three of them set up you can name what these individual pairs of com ports uh program or control uh, example for cat one i've got n3fjp and one mm and log hx which are my loggers uh for the second set of cat two i do use that for digital modes that aren't uh, TCI controlled and cat three we're going to be dealing with in this particular video that's the pair of com ports uh, com port 15 and 16 that I have set up to use for HRD one other uh, tidbit in here if you want to use CW in the DM 780 master you would go to uh, general or excuse me DSP CW and you're going to create a pair of com ports um, for that over here uh, i use com 9 and 10 as a secondary port uh, for cw control if i want to use cw through a digital program example like i said dm 780 or dm master 780 whatever ham radio deluxe is calling that these days All right, that's uh, pretty much all you need to do here. Um, you will need, if you're going to use, let me back up. If you are going to use DM780 or the digital modes and Ham Radio Deluxe, you will need, obviously, a input and output uh, virtual audio cable as well. So you will need to set up um, a VAC section for virtual audio for Ham Radio Deluxe for DM780 as well. All right, so let's get out of uh, let's get out of this, and let me open up uh, Ham Radio Deluxe here. All right, so in Ham Radio Deluxe, let me take this out completely. We'll start fresh here. I'm not going to remove the other one because I have that for another radio. Um, no, it's not a a Yezu. P817, I am using that as the radio style for Ham Radio Deluxe for another cheap uh, Q900 SDR radio, which emulates the Azu FT817. So, um, all right. So, we're going to add a new radio. Um, I would scroll down through here. You should see one for SDR radio and just use that for SDR, SDR. And here you're going to select your COM port. Again, back over on my particular setup. Let's see if I can pull these both up at the same time. I don't think I can. I think they're going to go off screen. Let's see here. I'm going to try. No guarantee. Okay. So for Ham Radio Deluxe, I am using my pair of COM ports 15. The other end of 15 is COM 16. So I am going, this is going to disappear when I click on this, by the way. Um, I'm going to use COM16. And here you can select auto detect. I do have this set at um, 11.5200. Ham Radio Deluxe, I don't think will, op will actually operate that fast. I think the fastest it will do is 57.6, but leave this on auto detect. Um, let me close this. We are going to need to start Thetis. 
Hold this guy back up. Let's do a connect. It's found it. Okay. So just to show you, I'm going to change here. You can watch the frequency on Thetis. Those are changing in synchronization. And likewise, if I change here, Ham Radio Deluxe will change. Okay. Let me turn this guy down in case he's mixing in the audio here. So that's the rig portion or rig control portion to use the DM780 master, the digital program. Let's open that up. And let's start this with um, program options. Sound card. Again, for the digital modes in DM780 for Ham Radio Deluxe, you're going to need to use a pair of virtual audio cables. So I'm using line 2 VAC, line 1 VAC for my output, line 2 is my input. I have these set at 0, which should be fine. And I'm using auto mode over here for the leveling over on the left-hand side of uh, DM780. For modes and ID, this is where you're going to set your COM port setting for CW. So on the CW tab, again, like I showed you in Thetis, let me see if I can bring this back up at the same time. I don't know if this is going to be possible. Uh, DSP, CW, and let's see. No, I didn't think it was going to. Maybe it will. Hold on. Yep, we can. Okay. So for CW, like I said, I'm using my secondary port. You can use this as your primary. It doesn't matter. Um, but I have it set as my secondary port, and I have this pair of COM ports, virtual COM ports, 9 and 10. 9 is the side for radio and Thetis. 10 over here for enable serial COM port keying is set to 10, the other side. Um, I am using Keyline RTS, so I want to select Toggle Pens RTS over here as well. That'll take care of your CW keen. And uh, just as a quick test here, let me close this. We'll close this. And just a quick little test here. Um, let me actually turn my power down. I don't even have this on a, I don't know, oh, I'm out in a dummy load. Um, Oh, well, no big deal. Got it down as far as it'll go. Let's, uh, just real quick. So there you can see it is keen. And yeah, my SWR here is high because I'm not in, I'm not an antenna that's tuned here. So, all right. Let me stop this guy. All right. So there is the CW setup, okay? For digital modes... Again, whoops, sorry, um, sound card settings. And again, line two, line one, which is what I have for my virtual comports ports and Thetis. And then if you select your digital modes here, you go to digital upper, or digital lower. Most things are digital upper. Um, you want to enable VAC. And I should have my waterfall now as well. So that's a quick setup of how that uh, works with HRD and Thetis with the Hermes Light 2 or, again, just about any radio that's uh, capable of running Thetis. So your main settings in Thetis, the tab you're going to be wanting to, to use is the Serial Network MIDI-CAT uh, panel. And then, like I said, you can name these whatever you have those individual COM ports or pairs of COM ports doing. You can actually run four of these at one time, which is really nice. Um, so you can separate these out. You can run multiple apps at the same time. Like I could run HRD and N3FJP or N1MM or di another digital mode, etc. You know, all at the same time means they are on separate COM ports. So everything will report back to Thetis as a central hub 
and then branch out from the individual COM ports to separate applications. So I hope that is enough to get you going with this. Um, I'm not going to get into how to use HRD. I use other programs, but uh, like I said, there was a couple of requests of how to do this. So that's a quick run through of how that is done. Have a great day and uh, look for you again soon. This is Rick N8SDR.